In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this side navigation bar with hover effects. I'll show you how I defined the HTML structure and how I applied all the styling with CSS. Let's get started. So if you're new to my channel, I make videos on UX, UI design, and front-end coding. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment down below so I know what kind of tutorial you would like to see next. So jumping right into it, I'm opening up a CodePen project. At the top of the HTML, I have a head tag with a link to a font family that I'm going to use throughout the project. And beneath that, I have body tags, which are empty. In the CSS, I declared several variables in the root and then set some universal styling, like setting the box sizing set to border box, a margin and padding to zero, and then I also set the font family to the body. In this video, I'm going to show you the full tutorial from beginning to end. So to get started, I'm going to define the HTML structure and then I will apply all of the styling within CSS. So to get started, first I'm going to add an element to the page and it will be a nav bar. And within that nav bar, I'm going to place all of the code for this navigation bar. So to get started with that, first I'm going to create an unordered list with a class of nav list. So this essentially holds all of the list items. So within this unordered list, I'm going to add several list items. So I'm creating a list item with a class of nav item, and this will represent an item in the navigation bar. And for each nav item, I actually want them to be a link to a different page. So within each list item, I'm going to add an A tag. And for right now, I'll just leave it as hashtag because I didn't define the other pages yet. And then within each link tag, I'm going to place the SVG here. So that way that will be the clickable element that would lead the user to the other page. So I'm going to take this list item and duplicate it several times. So I'm going to have five list items on this page. And so within the A tag, I'm going to place the SVG that will represent that nav item. So I already have my SVGs picked out right here. So I'm just going to grab them and place them in the HTML. So now we can actually see the icons on the page. So I know I want to add some hover effects. So when the user is actually on the home icon, the word home is visible next to it. So in order to do that, I'm going to use pseudo elements. So in each list item, I'm going to add a tag of data tooltip and assign it to the value that I want to be visible on the page. So for the first one, I'm going to set the value of it to Adam, which is the name of this company that I'm creating. Then for the next one, it's this home state. So in here, I'm going to set the data tooltip to home and so on. So although we can't see this value anywhere on the page yet, we're going to leverage it when we add pseudo elements to the page. So this is actually all the HTML that I will need for the project and everything else will be completed within the CSS. So in the CSS, first, I'm going to declare some basic visual styling. So in that body tag, I'm going to set the background to a gray color that I already defined. And then I'm going to apply styling for the actual nav list. So first, I'm going to set the background to white, and I'm going to add a box shadow around it. And then I'm going to add a padding of one REM and zero. I'm going to set the width to a particular value and I want the height to span the entire viewport height of the screen. So I'm going to set it to 100 viewport height. For this element, I want to set the position of this to fixed. I'm going to set the display of this to flex with a flex direction of column and I'm going to align the items in the center. And then I'm also going to add a gap of two REM. And because I added a preprocessor to the CSS, I'm going to add all the other classes and elements within this nav list. So that way it's a bit more organized. So underneath that nav list, I'm going to reference the nav item. 
And for this nav item, I'm going to set the list style to none and set the position to relative. Then I'm going to work on the SVGs. So within here, I'm going to reference the SVG. So for that SVG, I'm going to set the fill to a particular gray color. I'm going to fix the width. And I'm also going to apply a hover effect for this SVG. So I'm going to add a transition here of 200 milliseconds ease in. So for that hover effect, I'm just going to modify the fill and make it a slightly darker color. So now if I hover over it, we can actually see the effect. Next, for this first child, I want there to be a bit more breathing room from the icon to the other elements because I want it to be clear that this is the icon for the company and these are the pages that the person can access. So here I'm going to reference the first child. So I'm going to write and first child. And I'm going to apply another treatment for this icon. So I want that icon to have an extra margin to the bottom of 2 REM. I just realized I'd rather place this code within this nav item so it's a bit more organized there. So I'm just going to place that there. So now it's a bit more organized that these all reference that nav item. And now we can actually see that effect of that first child. Next, I'm going to work on the actual hover effects. So the way that I plan on making this work is that I want each of these icons to have a pseudo element assigned to it. And I want the content of that pseudo element to be this data tooltip attribute right here. And then I will apply certain styling and transition effects. So that way, when I hover over this home icon, the word home is actually visible over here on the page. So in order to do that, under that nav item, I'm going to create a before pseudo element. So I'm going to write and and then before. And for the content of the pseudo element, I want it to be this data tooltip. So I'm going to write content and then the attribute of that data tooltip. So now we can actually see the text on the page. And for these elements, I'm going to set the position of this to absolute. I'm going to set the left and top positioning. I'm going to set the background to a particular gray color, and then I'm going to set the color of the text to white. I'm also going to add padding of 0.8 REM. I'm going to add a border radius. And then I also want to add a transition effect because I only want that word to be visible when the user hovers over the icon. So I'm going to add a transition here of 200 milliseconds ease in. And initially, I don't want this text to be visible at all, so I'm going to set the opacity to zero. So in order to make the text visible, I have to add a hover effect. So beneath this work, I'm going to write and hover and then reference the before property. So this means when the user hovers over the nav item, I want some quality to change of the before pseudo element. So then I just have to define what elements I want to change when the user is in the hover state. Well, initially I want it to be visible, so I'm going to set the opacity to one. So right now when I hover over it, I do see that word home right next to it and it does transition in, but I want there to be a bit of movement as well. So underneath this area, I'm also going to add a left property and set it to 4.5 REM. So now when I hover over it, there's actually a little bit of motion. So that's it. That's how I created the side navigation bar with hover effects. So just to go over what I did first in the HTML, I defined this navigation bar. And in that navigation bar, I created an unordered list. For that unordered list, I created several different list items, which each had a data tooltip tag. And within each list item, I also included an SVG. Before I started the project, I declared several variables just to be a bit more organized. And then I added certain properties universally. For the nav list, I applied certain styling so it stood out a bit more from the background and it was always a fixed position and 100% of the viewport height. For each nav item, I applied certain characteristics for the SVG to modify its size and color. 
And then I also applied a hover effect to the SVG, so that way it changed color when the user was actually over it. Then to add a bit of distinction between the company icon and the rest of the navigation bar, I wanted to add a bit more margin to that first element. So I used first child and then added an extra margin bottom. Then to add the text to the side, I added a before pseudo element with a content attribute of that data tooltip and added a hover effect to it. So there you go. That's how I created this navigation bar using only HTML and CSS. Please let me know if you have any questions on the topic and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest content. Thanks for watching.